Coming up on The Point, the debate team hosts its annual tournament. Welcome to the United States Military Academy at West Point, New York. Home to 4,400 cadets. The oldest continuously occupied military post in the country, West Point sits on over 16,000 acres and is one of the largest school campuses in the world. Here, the leaders of tomorrow are trained. With over 40 majors to choose from, the academy is one of the most highly regarded schools in the nation. The academy offers 25 Division I sports, and several of its athletes have participated in the Winter and Summer Olympic Games. But the academy prepares a cadet for far more than just educational feats. It prepares them for joining the ranks of the finest army in the world. The Long Gray Line has produced many great leaders, and here we will take an inside look into their world. I'm your host, Sergeant Alexandria Cornero, and this is The Point. Colleges from across the United States headed to West Point as the debate team hosted its annual tournament. And in other news, members of the Theater Arts Guild, a cadet club here at the Academy, performed Play On at Eisenhower Hall Theater. Let's take a look as cadets from both the debate team and the Theater Arts Guild tell us about their experiences. This is actually our first show in about 10 years. So this is a big deal for us. This is the opening of a revamped Theater Arts Guild. The Theater Arts Guild tag is a, is a cadet club. Um, what they did was there was an email sent out, based, I, th I believe it was Core Wide, that just said they're having um, auditions for a cadet play, completely cadet, and there was about 16 cadets who showed up, auditioned, and then we just got the parts. The play I got is, uh, his name is Henry, the actual, actual actor, and then the part that he plays inside the play is called Lord Dudley. He's a very, very dapper uh, Scotsman, if you will. We've been rehearsing uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then uh, as it's gotten closer up to the actual uh, today, I guess, the, the opening night, we've done some weekend rehearsals. We like it. We really like it so far. We're excited to play it on. The play is a play within a play. The uh, play within a play is a murder mystery, and the, uh, the play itself is a comedy by Rick Abbott. So it's, it's a, we're putting on a production, and the first, the first act is just a rehearsal, and the second act is the dress rehearsal, and the last one is the actual play, which goes terribly, terribly wrong, obviously, since it's a comedy, so it's, it's going to be absolute mayhem and insanity. I am very excited, it's, especially at West Point, you know, it's, it's a bit out of our element, out of what we do every day. Uh, a lot of people that are in this play have done uh, drama and things, things like that uh, back in high school, but this is the first time we've done anything like that for a while, so I really missed it and really excited to get back to it tonight. been holding just a regular regional tournament for the last 43 years I believe and we've had teams come from the Midwest Florida a lot of teams fly in it's a great tournament in fact we used to hold the national championships for several years but that kind of ended in about the early 70s the topic is the same for the entire debate season it's just a resolution that the for this season in particular it's a resolution that the United States federal government should pass an increase in four different types of visas and because of that, there's a lot of ramifications for the immigration debate. But for debate, you need to do a lot of research for policy debate in particular because there's so many different factors that influence policy. Do things actually link? What are the consequences? Or are there things that are inherently wrong with the system that you need to fix? All these different factors come into effect when you're trying to argue for a resolution or a law potentially to be passed. You get, you get a lot of um, feedback for how well certain arguments worked, how much clash there was. If if some things seem to be more important than others, you get a lot of um, interesting perspectives because when you put up forward something, you don't always you don't always know how persons how the other side's going to come at it, and you have to be ready just to beat them back and like say no 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 you're totally wrong it doesn't even apply you're talking about something else totally well even if that does happen that just helps us because we solve for it anyways so you have to really be able to think fast on your feet. What you want to do is just be able to see the positive and negatives of both sides and then be able to extrapolate the ramifications really well and be able to say really clearly to the judge that yes, your side should win because. The debate team at the beginning of the next semester is going to go down to Navy, so we beat Navy. 
on debate, and we have. We also want to go to national championships and get in the top 10. That's one of our team goals. I would say like the biggest pointer would uh, take leadership positions. I mean, that's the whole point. You're coming here to become a leader of character, you know, to graduate and become an army officer. So that's a big deal. Um, don't join clubs though, just for the sake of joining clubs. That just makes senior year not what it's supposed to be. I mean, it's important to find what you like. Discover that now because that's going to make your path here so much easier. La, 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 la. Remember, if you have a question for a cadet, please email us at askacadet at gmail.com. Please include your name, location, and question. Well, that's it for this week's edition. I'm your host, Sergeant Alexandra Cornero, and this is The Point. Jai Ho! What? We'll take an inside look into their world. Because I, 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 you don't mess with me when I'm trying to do my report. I'm trying to be professional. I'm trying to look like you. I gotta start like, and then I gotta end like that. <laughs> That's what you do. I'm serious. <laughs> Why are you laughing at that? <laughs> It's like, it's like, it's like the bells. It's like this. I'll make you hot, all you got, I'll make you want to It's like some of this, some of this. I got hot, fever, fever, running like a fire. Oh.